Welcome back, everybody, to, uh, uh, what is this, 7 Days Tonight? <laughs> 7 Days Tonight, Alpha 17 Experimental. I'm an old guy gaming, and we're picking up right where we left off again. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to work our way back uh, to our base. Um, unmolested this time, we've had nothing but, uh, you know, zombies dogging us the whole entire last episode, and even a little bit before that. Um, so uh, we're going to see if we can get back to the base uh, without them aggroing us again. And if they do, we're just going to draw them off and pick them off one by one. Uh, but but they are a little ways away from the base, so if I can kind of sneak back there quietly uh, and, you know, unnoticed, then we can move on with the next thing that we need to do. Uh, so hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's move around this direction. And we got a little mom there. Let's see if we can scooch by her without her noticing. We'll even crouch down a little bit here. Yeah, the, this game has not uh, given me much rest. I mean, these zombies just are relentless. only had a few times since I've started playing where I felt like I had a little bit of a reprieve. They're just always around. And the, the last group did quite a number on our place here too. Oh, the other thing is I couldn't figure out how to use the frickin' Molotov either. Scooch up here. And we want to grab our cobblestone blocks. See, they just won't leave me alone. I can't even get a break. Uh, let's go ahead and turn our gamma up now because it's starting to get dark. Usually put that on about 96 uh, for the sake of the video. So what we're going to do is we're going to block this off. Oh shit, that's all we have. Okay, so we'll have to make some more. Um, let's block it all the way to the ceiling. Two. Now these frame ones I'll replace with, um, with cobble once I get more. And let's see, do we, yeah, we do actually have some cobble, and we have a little bit more clay, and we got a lot of stone. So let's grab all of that, let's stick that in there, and we need, well, let's actually reinforce the ones that we laid first. I'm gonna do once I get this done. Yeah, see they're damaging that. Is um, I'll put a ladder down here through the top so we can just get right down to the forge and use it. Uh, but what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna grab these so we can actually use them. And then we've got to get out of here so they quit causing damage to the forge itself. Okay, I am really getting pissed at these guys. I kid you not. I am getting absolutely infuriated with them. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to make iron arrows. Because I'm, I'm losing faith in my crossbow, you guys. Sorry, but uh, I just am. Uh, so let's craft iron arrows. I'm not losing faith in the crossbow. It's just I'm coming to grips with the fact that it's... A situational weapon now it's no longer 
you can no longer use it the way that you used to be able to use it uh, when in, a, in an always run uh, situation. Um, and so I gotta figure out how to use this. I couldn't figure out how to throw the freaking Molotov. All right, so let's take one of those. Let's take one of these. And then we gotta draw these guys off again. I need a chance to do what I need to do. So, okay. And I can't do it when they're down there because then, then they're just beating on. Oh shit, I left the door open too. Not, that wasn't good. They're just beating on all the stuff. Okay, so let's pull them away. Well, come on. Get out of my house, zombies. This is my house. Nurse Nancy's the, the fastest one of them, so let's kill her first. I don't want to get too far over here because we got... I don't know what the hell's up with these guys running at an angle, too. Well, what's that all about? See, she runs at an angle. Ah, oh, shit. We got another zombie on us now. Shoot her in the ass. Okay, so Nurse Nancy's down. Grab our arrows out of him, or her, rather. We gotta just run back, because we're out of stamina, shit! Why did he just die? I mean, I'm not complaining, but why did he just die? Can we actually get in here and finish this up? Oh, we got frickin' Edgar. Alright, come on out, Edgar. crossbow action. We got another sleeper. Here, let's switch to our iron arrows. Since Edgar's a little tougher. Die any time, Edgar. Here, let's try. We've got that um, the stay down perk. I wonder if it doesn't work on big fat guys like Edgar though. all those arrows back. Alright, can we get in here and do what we need to do? Not being harassed by you bastards. Nope. Now Big Mama wants to mix up. Alright, Big Mama, come on. I ain't taking no more shit off you. I'm over here. Can we get in here? <sighs> oh, 
Okay. Let's repair this. Jeez, that takes a long time. Okay. We'll, we'll pick that block up. We'll put a this here and upgrade it. It's weird that you can upgrade them faster than you can repair them. That makes no sense either. I'm probably going to run out of cobble to do all this, but we'll see. It's the lower ones that are the more important ones anyway. In fact, that being said, let's... Uh... Well, okay. Yep, we're out of cobble. Okay, so we need to go uh, get ourselves some more cobblestone. And uh, let's do that. There's a bolt. From all the bolts from when we were shooting down before. Yeah, they did they did some damage out here, that's for sure. They're actually leaving us alone for a, a couple of moments. Miracle of miracles. Alright, so we need to quickly grab ourselves some more uh, clay. So let's just dig right here. Gotta watch that stamina. Now, I have a plan for dealing with um, zombies that come by. Um, basically, we're gonna we're gonna start using spikes all over the place. That's all I got out of that. I just need a chance to actually get a maid. But first we have to get the, you know, the forge secured and be able to access it safely from up above. So that's our number one priority and then we'll start working on getting spikes. It's also day 10, so we don't have a lot of time left for for horde night. And um so, you know, there's that, too. And maybe what we can do is... Uh, maybe what we can do... I can't even remember what I was going to say. Oh, uh, break into that hardware store that we are trying to get into a couple episodes ago and see if we can find an iron pickaxe uh, and or an iron axe. Because we have the means to repair them once we do find them. Okay. So we're just going to turn all that into cobble. Now let's go back in here. They were busting it up on that side too. Let's upgrade these. We probably could get away with not even upgrading the up the top player altogether, but we should because, like I said, they can uh, they can cr climb up on top of each other. So we really just should have this upgraded all the way. Okay, and then we'll replace 
place these and these. Upgrade these and then we'll be finished with what we need to do down here. After we get these upgraded, then we're gonna we're gonna put a bunch of spikes around this too. In fact, um, I'm my it's my intention to basically spike the entire interior of this building eventually. So if the zombies want to come in here and cause problems, they can uh oh. Uh let's feed this stuff into the forge. All of that can go in here. Uh, let's see, we'll pull the clay out, put the glass in, put some wood in. And we'll start smelting this stuff. Okay, while that's smelting, let's just break this. arrow. Okay, get that out of the way. Get this out of the way. And get this out of the way. Break these two. Get a little stone in the process. Okay, so um, let's take whatever spikes we currently have and start surrounding our. Uh, forge here. this yeah we need concrete for that let's get this cabinet out of the way too and we'll get this out of the way in fact can we make some more spikes now whoops one okay So we got a lot of wood chopping to do, that's for sure. Yeah, it's too bad I couldn't uh, repair that somehow, but I can't, so. Okay, well at least we got at least we got the forge surrounded by some spikes that'll give it some momentary protection anyway. Oh yeah, let's fix this too. We'll probably eventually convert this over to cobblestone too. Okay. 
now can we make this jump being as encumbered as we are? Yes, we can. Okay. All right. So, uh, so far, so good. So far, so good. So we want to... Uh, let's think about this for a minute. We want to feed the rest of this stuff into the forge, too. Uh, let's put those arrowheads there. We'll put the flagstone blocks back now. Um, let's keep some stone on us this time. We'll put the cobble and the clay back. Uh, actually, no. I, I, we want to, we want the clay to go into the forge, too. Let's put the coal, all the coal in the forge and we'll grab a little more wood, too. So now, uh, we want to make some ladders. I don't know how many we need to get down there. That's all the further we need to go. We don't even have to get super close to it. And then we'll f start feeding this uh, stuff in too. So we got a pretty decent amount of clay in there. I guess we still have 24 wood in, so that's good. Uh, let's feed this lead in. And the brass and then we're also going to put the sand in the iron we'll just stick that in there you know I probably maybe I will put the rest of that clay in too and then the scrap that's got 50 more seconds to go all right, so it looks like we can actually make bullet casings and bullet tips. So we don't have to have a special skill for that. I'm probably thinking of uh, like Darkness Falls or one of the uh, the mods. Uh, steel arrowheads. We got to have a crucible for that, of course. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Can we make iron bars now? Yep, we can make iron bars. Uh, we can also make a cooking grill, too. Uh, we should do that, because then we can make a little bit better quality uh, meat. Uh, okay, let's feed this iron in. And since we have enough... Uh, why did that disappear? I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so we'll make one of those. Let's put the sand in there. And we should be able to start making jars. Okay, there's our grill. We'll wait for this to finish here. Oh, that's uh, that's per nugget, I think, isn't it? Well, wait, let's see. Yeah, that's per nugget. All right, we'll come back down here in just a little bit uh, and feed the rest of that stuff in there. Okay, so let's head on back up this way. Now, I'm also going to put a hatch over this just because you never know. So we want to turn it. That way it should work. Okay. Let's put the grill here. And now we can make grilled meat. 
It still takes five meats to make that thing. That is so stupid. It makes no sense. I know, I keep complaining about it. But it doesn't. It makes no sense. What were you thinking, fun pimps? That can go in the forge. Technically, we could probably just feed... Let's keep one of these. We'll feed the other two in the forge, because we can make those now. Uh, the iron door could put that in the forge, too, really. You know, uh, we'll put the sand in the forge. So all of this stuff here will go in there. And we don't actually have any meat, so we're going to have to go do some hunting anyway. And we're out of feathers, too, so that's that's a thing. Okay, stick that there. We'll melt down the rest of that stuff. And the zombies are back. Well, we had, had a little bit of, of a reprieve from them. Uh, we're going to put those in there. And then I think what I want to do is let's make a little bit more of this. How much can we make? 15? I don't know. Let's make maybe four mo more of those. And then we're just going to make a bunch of iron arrowheads. A bunch more. Uh, I think I'm going to pull that back out for now, too. Oh, those zombies aren't even coming over here. They're attacking the motel. That's fine with me. They can attack the motel all they want, as long as they don't lose the water. Okay. So, guys, I think um, I think what we need to do now, uh, what I need to do now, is I need to um, focus on just getting a bunch of wood. Uh, because what I want to do is I want to spike this whole freaking place. Once we do that, you know, that's going to help tremendously in, you know, stopping these zombies from pestering us. You know, the spikes are actually quite effective. Um, and I want, so I want to do that. And um, I also want to start, you know, making more cobble too, uh, flagstone, uh, so we can start figuring out what we're going to do for Horde Night 14, which is coming coming up fast. We need to do some hunting because uh, we don't have any meat. Uh, eggs are starting to get low. Uh, but with, you know, the ability to now make jars and with the swimming pool next door, you know, boiled eggs are, are definitely going to be our main source of food for a while, I think. And that's okay. You know, they're, they're not that bad. So anyway, uh, I think that's probably about it for this episode. What I'm So what I'm going to do is uh, off camera, I'm just going to go cut wood like there's no tomorrow. I'm just going to cut a whole mess of wood. And if I, you know, see any critters, we'll do a little bit of hunting and stuff too. And uh, so we can get this place spiked. Because once we once we get it spiked, you know, then we can come here and, and do what we need to do without being harassed by these bastards. Uh, let's see. Glass jar. How many can we make? We can already make 38. Beautiful. Beautiful. So that's going to take about three minutes of burn time. And I can't tell. Oh, we have 13 minutes there. So let's turn that off for a minute. I don't want to run this too much because, uh, you know, screamers and all that, right? So then we'll just let that run out. Uh, let's put this wood down here for now. Maybe a little more, too. Okay, good. And, of course, we need more feathers, too, for our arrows. So we're back in good shape. We don't have Grim Reaper any longer. Uh, so so now we have all of our, you know, our attributes back that we've uh, trained so far, which is a good thing. And we really want to try and avoid dying. Oh, man, do we ever. Because dying hurts more than, more than ever now it hurts. Let's put a little bit of wood in there. Um, all right, so I'm going to take the arrowheads with me. We will, like I said, we'll keep using the crossbow when we can. But if we have fast Zs, then we will use, um, let's, let's bump this up. 
we'll have to use the normal bow. We'll keep the shovel with us. We'll take uh, some forged iron to repair it because we're going to we're going to dig some clay up as well. Uh, let's take the rest of our eggs with us. I'll keep some stone on us too. And let's get this back on the toolbar. I don't know what the hell to do with this. I'm just going to keep it in here for now cuz I couldn't I couldn't get it to work. Um, should we take frames with us? Well, yeah, we probably should. It's always a good idea to have frames on you. Okay, cool. So, uh, let's go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, come and hang out with us on Discord and come hang out with me on a live stream. I do live stream several times a week on Twitch. You can find the links to both of those places in the About section of the YouTube channel. You guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.